been going across the flat area. Now here's uh, some bluffs. This is the Redmond Wapello Lake picnic area. Look at the size of it. Let's check it out. This is part of the dam. Boat launch. Here's the uh, picnic area. Is this it? Is this the power generation area? I don't know. So they have a good picnic, sheltered picnic area here. They also have a beach, which I don't know where it's at. Rapello Reservoir, 1940. This is a gatehouse. This is a flood control only. It's not a power generation plant. I was talking to that uh, guy here who works for the Corps of Engineers. Let's look at the map here. You can see you are here and the campground I'm staying at is called Red Man Creek. Nineteen and forty. He said he had seen it three times in his life get up to the uh, emergency spillway. When it gets that high, there's nothing stopping it. And look, they got all this nice picnic areas and nobody's around. Of course, they'll be here this weekend. Look at this, tennis courts. Volleyball. You name it, they got it. And there's the marina over there. And look at all the parking space they have. It's pretty amazing.
this is for flood control only. There's no power generation. Hey, visitor center. You're welcome. 2002, they had quite a flood here. It didn't go over. They, they was able to keep it from going over in 2002, but 2011 and 2017. It, it went, went over? Yeah, in 2045 it, it went over. Wow. Yeah. Holy smoly. Look how few trees there are. Shows you how it's grown up. The Wapapello Dam was first challenged in March and April 1945 as floodwaters set the highest lake level at that time, 399.09 feet. Make that 400. Flood devastation. This is the St. Francis River. 1915 flood caused St. Francis and Black Rivers to reach record levels. Over nine inches of rain fell in a 54 hour period. Greenville, Missouri was devastated. Look at the water there. 1927. And that was a memorial year in the Mississippi flood. Four ways the flood had inundated 12,800,000 acres, displaced 600,000 people, and destroyed 25,000 homes. There were 250 deaths. So they check it every five years. Four Bay Weir. A weir, I guess, is a safety belt. Look at this owl, the great horned owl. Construction of the dam. Cost of the project including construction $2,570,000. Land acquisition total five million three hundred thousand dollars. Sounds like very little now, doesn't it? Because of inflation. The gatehouse. Here's the emergency spillway right here. St. Francis River was rerouted from its original course to what is now the middle of the dam to run through the gatehouse. The medieval castle is inseparably connected with the fortification and architecture in heraldry. The castle and the tower are often used as a coat of arms. The strongest of the early fortifications in this country was known as castles, known as Castle Pinckney, Pinckney in Charleston, South Carolina, and Castles William and Clinton in New York Harbor. Fittingly, these castles were the achievements of the Corps of Engineers. The Army officially announced the 
Adoption of the castle to appear on the Corps of Engineers uniform, epaulets, and belt plate. This is a albino possum. Don't see many of those. Looks like they got something going on here. All right. So Clearwater is another area here. That's what that uh, berm is for. I wondered about that. Look at this, they got it sandbagged right there. April 22nd, 2011. Look at that cataract. Wow. And this is the results. These are Indian artifacts found in the area, I suppose. Look at those tiny little arrowheads. And then these were found in old Green Greenville. kinds of stuff in here. Gray fox. What's he got in his mouth? A bird feather? Razorbacks. Coyotes. All right, here's your raccoon prince. Muskrat, cottontail, red fox. What do we have in here? Eagles, okay. I thought I saw an eagle the other day. Snakes. Well, look at this. What is this one right here? Garden of snake. Is it a garden of snake? Osage copperhead. You don't want to mess with those. They're probably in the pile of wood. They all take it a nap. Buck saw is a hand saw used for cutting logs or firewood to link bucking. The blade is the same width from teeth to back and is thicker to make it more difficult to bend on the push stroke. The crosscut saw. have teeth that are designed to cut wood at a right angle to the wood grain. The cutting edge of each tooth is angled back and has a beveled edge so each tooth acts as like a knife to slice through the wood. It helps to saw the wood, saw to cut a groove slightly larger than the blade and keeps it from binding 
in deeper cuts. I know all about that binding crosscut of Missouri forest history. Lush forest once covered 70% of Missouri. Wow, I didn't know that. Still has a lot of forest. By the turn of the 20th century, the Ozark region was one of the largest timber producing areas in the nation with sawmills located in Grandland, Greenville, Poplar Bluff, to name a few. However, by 1920, the forests were depleted and a decade later, Missouri forests and wildlife were all at an all-time low. This is 1920. It was then that the conservation efforts to preserve these valuable resources in Missouri began on a state and national level. Today, almost one-third of the state resides in forest cover, which helps preserve our forest and wildlife for generations. Fox, fox fur. Nice and soft. Skunk. It doesn't smell too bad. Raccoon. This is a giddy room. A deer hide. A bear skin rug on the floor. This is like a uh, homesteader's cabin. Please duck. Okay. <laughs>